Hey y'all, welcome back to another Project Spot J for today's project. We are basically trying to fix the dreadful P0141 code on a 02 Mitsubishi Lancer. This Lancer is the LS model, but it should be the same for all the Lancers pretty much. So you get your check engine light, right? And I've been on uh, YouTube, on Google, and all of them says to replace your uh, O2 sensor for the rear O2, which is the one down there after the um, catalytic converter, right? Which will be the O2 sensor down here where the second catalytic converter is, right? And I went ahead and bought one for the O2. Same thing, check engine light kept on coming up. Basically it was saying that the heater circuit was not working, right? So I thought maybe it was just a faulty O2. Went and ordered um, another one, and this time I actually ordered the Denso one, which is the OEM one that Mitsubishi uses, and still the same thing. So, of course, worse comes to worse, and I'm thinking it's the wires, right? I'm like, oh shoot, it's probably something electronic. And then I started comparing the how the front one was wired up as you can see there's a blue white a black and an orange but then if you look on this end which is actually the side that goes to the o2 you can see you have a blue a white and basically two blacks right and those two black wires are actually your heater circuit so on this car, as you can see, the orange and yellow one is actually your constant 12 volt, right? So it only comes on when you turn on the car, but it's your constant 12 volt, which is used to heat up the um, heater circuit inside the O2, which as you can see, it's actually connected to your black wire going to the O2. So... What happened was that the one that I was getting sent to me, the 202s for the rear that was getting sent to me, they were actually, the pins were wired up wrong. So, if you guys need a reference, just come and look at this, uh, the front one. So, as you can see, the orange and yellow goes to a black. And then, your other black one should go to this blue one back here if you guys can see the blue one right so it doesn't matter which black goes to which because it all just goes in a circle so as long as you complete the circuit you should be good and then the white one down here if you can see the white one down here goes to this black one right here and then the blue one goes to this white up here so it should be the same thing for the other o2 sensor the only thing is that the connectors are different as you can see here, this connector actually goes two on top, two on bottom, but the one on the bottom of the second catalytic converter actually goes like this, four wires like this. So you just gotta match them up and they'll be the same wires like this, the orange, the white, the black. So that is a tip for you guys, especially if you guys are working on these cars, cause sometime if you order it aftermarket, they could come wired wrong. So all you have to do is just uh, wire it up correctly and yeah your coat should disappear so this is a, on this car the O2 sensor is right here and behind this panel right here so what you're going to do is come to the passenger side you're going to take this off and this thing actually comes off right you see these little tabs inside right there you're just going to pop them off just like that this side comes off and if you move your carpet right here, you should see this is the O2 sensor right here. 
and it just happens to be right there but the hole for it is actually somewhere right here behind this so if you just reach your fingers in you should be able to pull out the connector and as you can see this is how it's wired up so this side is actually going to my o2 sensor this side is going to the car so as you can see from the o2 sensor the blue is connected to the white on top the white one is connected to the black over here and then the two blacks go to the orange and blue on this side and that is how the correct circuit wire should be when it came it was actually these two black and white got switched around and it was basically the heater um getting constant volt to my heater did not work at all um not the heater for the car the heater for the o2 it was not working so that's what you want to do sometimes it could be you know coming from the factory just wired up wrong so all you have to do is this has a little tab all you have to do is just lift this up and then get a really small flat head like one of those flat head you use to you know take like electron electronics parts apart and what i did was i just went in there with the flat head and just kind of pushed up on it because you can see there's little like metal metal tabs in there try not to like you know like stab your wires so what i was doing is just getting it um at the bottom of these clips right here and then i was just pushing it up and eventually it just came out and that's how you could switch them around so yeah that's how i i was able to diagnose it and fix it um other than that majority of the time your easy fix for the p041 code should just be replacing that second um o2 sensor uh, so yeah if that don't work just check out the wirings they probably came from the factory wrong so yeah all right you guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video if it helped you out okay look bro no check engine light.